Hello boys and girls, my name is Russell C and welcome back to more oxygen not included. Where last time uh, I finished setting up the system over here with um, apparently too much ga gas pressure here in the oil well. We have all our tanks full. We are not using as much power as we have. So today we want to make the next step. We want to refine some metal because down here that's where our uh, cooling tank goes. Uh, but for that we need to be able to cool it and uh, that generates quite some heat so we need some steel for that now uh, let's start this off i think we will do that here in uh, in this space here um we need to extend the ladder up there and then let's stick out for high and um, we will have to see how we manage the process because uh, in the beginning uh, we really have an issue with cooling the system to do it properly we of course would need steel which we don't have so I think I mean we can place um, the metal refinery we can already place that here we can hook that up with power and eventually um, let's have a bit of a ladder here on both sides and dig out a bit more I would imagine that maybe at this height we want to have another floor ladder going up there and then dig this out four high um, here on this side we can actually have a wall and then have a liquid container sitting there but for that to happen I think we must dig this out first and that of course can take a while now that was on the quick side so let's see about that reservoir in here we put that right here in the corner and then we will have a bit of uh, isolated pipe going on here uh, here on the outtake down here and here we will have um, a liquid thermal sensor
Oh, can't have it there because um, uh, that's where we have the machine. So let's move the, the whole thing over. Um, actually, we can also break these uh, because then on here we have the sensor. We will have the wire going there and then basically up here. And we shall have a liquid shut off here. Like that. And then we need a ladder there to reach the top. We will have it like that. Then we need this piece of wiring. And we also need power. And then The idea here is if the cooling liquid becomes too hot, we will uh, uh, pump it out. However, if it is cool enough, it goes in there. So that's how that goes. We will connect that to here and then have this connect there. All right, and of course, the duplicates need to finish this next step. With double the amount of duplicates, uh, work gets done faster. So now everything is built and we just have to, to hook it up. So we'll break this corner piece. And this I set up to send a green signal as long as we have uh, temperatures below 160 degree Celsius. Um, so that's then going up into this uh, this uh, container and if it's above then it goes over here and down here where we will eventually process it in the uh, uh, petroleum generator. But we need to break this and then we can connect uh, these two pipes together. I mean, this one can already be connected. And then this corner piece here. And with that, we should get the cooling liquid in here it goes through the long way but we are getting it in and first we will I think produce a bit of uh, aluminium and then we need iron and up here we do have a bit of a, of a patch that we can dig out. 
So let's do this then. And while we are here for steel, um, we need uh, uh, carbon. We get that uh, out of coal. And we also need lime, which we have a tiny bit. And the uh, minimum amount for the cooling setup is we need a one aqua tuner and one steam turbine. So that's two tons. And then to have this set up going properly, we also would need a steam turbine. I am not sure. So let's have 20 carbon and uh, ceramic. Let's produce that infinitely. Um, then maybe um, we'll have a polymer press here. Uh, no, we won't have it there. We will have it. We'll have it there. Um, that was in refinement because we need a tiny bit of um, a tiny bit of uh, plastic for the steam turbine. And we need this connection here. Right. And with that, we can produce iron. Let's have two tons of iron. That's that's a one to one. And then when we uh, go to steel, we do not need uh, the same amount of iron to get 100 kilograms of steel out of it. And we shall only produce a tiny amount of uh, of plastic just for what we need. And I am wondering if this setup is actually good enough. Um, I guess we will see because eventually we can uh, make this set up in a way uh, that if we are refining steel we can sustain the energy that we that we put in here um, overall. But yeah, so let's see. Um, ooh. Yeah, we also need output. Let's just put that there. Uh, 
that should give us a tiny bit of plastic. have produced a bit of uh, aluminium no iron yet so let's let's wait for that and um, where does the water come from and then we can go to the to the next level and produce some steel well it does not exactly work as i expected and that's probably because uh when we get here uh petrol fresh petroleum and then basically this blocks the pipe and some of it flow out but on the positive side it means we get uh, a fresh influx of uh, of colder petroleum because the thing that's going on here is a bit on the warm side in the meantime we already have some iron we check off all the uh, aluminium production so now i think let's convert all the iron into steel uh, we won't use iron for anything else and that should give us the steel that we need for this setup down here and maybe maybe um, let's up that number a bit um, so that instead of the minimal amount of uh, aqua tuners we can have two aqua tuners and uh, two steam turbines uh, to get a proper cooling set up going and then as you can see down here our oil is getting low because actually i prevented them going in there because they always went in there uh, and burned themselves so that's not good and overall this environment back here is a bit uh, nasty uh, with all the different gases so I think what we should do next even before tackling the, the cooling system is to have uh, an, uh, a gate here um, to uh, to ensure that we only go out here on this side if we are properly protected but that's a problem uh, for next episode um, we are nearly at one ton of plastic i think if we reach one ton that's enough for now we are producing iron uh, we have not yet produced any steel but it's only a matter of time and I would yep there is the scalding um, that uh, that happens over here um, as I said it's only a matter of time until we get the steel and uh, we should have quite a bit at the beginning of next episode when we tackle uh, the airlock system here on the side so until then that's it for now goodbye